Mm -hmm. And um, what's involved in second year of PA school and what are you looking forward to? Second year of PA school is our clerkship year, which means that we rotate through different um, specialties and there's varying lengths of specialties. So, um, in, so there's different streams that you can go into, but for an example, a stream could be that you do three months of family medicine at the beginning. And there's always three months for family med um, and you do that in, in one clinic. And then you could do, after that, let's say you do emergency for a month and then general surgery for a month and then internal medicine for a month, and then um, an elective for a month. An elective can be in any specialty that you have an interest in. And then you could have, the other ones are um, psych, um, pediatrics, and there's two weeks of geriatrics, another elective, and I think that's all of them, internal medicine, I don't know if I already said that. Um, so yeah, you have those. And it's basically your time to get a, a taste of working in that specialty. So you are a PA student still, but you are um, expected to see patients, you're expected to, to talk to patients, to kind of make differential diagnoses and work with a physician as a physician assistant would um, to get the experience of what it's actually like to be one. And so in that four months or however long you hope to gain that experience, gain that um, knowledge, kind of dip your toe into what it might look like to work in that specialty and hopefully we find out where we think we uh, will work best. Um, I'm excited for all of it, to be honest. I, I came in to the PA program very um, drawn towards emergency medicine and working in the emergency department, but now after doing a few different placements in different places, I realized that I could find, you know, passion or love in almost any specialty because you see so many different types of patients and every specialty kind of have kind of has a uh, different vibe or a different atmosphere when you walk into it so a family medicine clinic will obviously feel different when you walk in versus an emergency department or an ICU um, the patients are very drastically different in those three settings but so in all, all of those three settings I still was happy to see patients I still um, enjoyed being there so I'm excited for just learning everything and not learning everything but seeing all of the different specialties um, but I'm also excited for I have to say emergency like I also want to I wanted to do maybe in a, a rural placement to see a what a rural hospital looks like and how they function um, as an elective and um, the PE program at McMaster also allows us to do international electives if we want. So I know some students uh, in the past that are working now have done international electives and I think I still want to keep that option open for myself because I think that would be a really good experience in seeing how healthcare is handled um, in a different area and in, in a developing country um, and kind of experience that and hopefully use that experience to, to become a better PA here or maybe even one day be working in a different country um, that's not Canada. So, um, yeah, I'm excited for the entire 12 months after <laughs> September. And um, do you know where you're going to do your electives in, apart from a rural emergency, or is that still up in the air? Um, so, yeah, we have two electives. I think rural emergency, I um, actually have been talking to um, a physician that I know. He's um, I, I know him from, he's a family, he's, he's in the family, but I'm asking him if he has any physicians that would be willing to take me on, because you obviously can't be a preceptor, like your preceptor can't be your family, but um, so that would be in uh, the Barry area, um, I think in Alliston, and the elder elective right now I'm thinking um, an international elective, so there's a lot of different organizations that can uh, put together, well, they can provide you with options for an international elective. There's um, PAs for Global Health, which is an, a website that kind of just links you to a lot of different universities in the U.S. Um, and colleges, uh, physician assistant schools, sorry, that are doing international electives and you can, they give you their contact information so you can potentially set up something where you can join their students and do an international elective. And that's something that I'm interested in, but I also, it's hard to, um, to justify or to kind of 
decide on what's best because some people say, you know, it's best to get more experience here where you're actually going to be working and building more connections and networking and maybe finding a potential employer or making better references here um, or in the hospital that you might be working at one day. So, but there, there's also the side of if you go internationally, getting that experience can um, improve your character for one and but also improve your um, uh, prov- provision of healthcare or also your perspective on healthcare and that can you know overall make you a better PA, a better clinician so it's, it's hard to, to kind of decide which one is best for me I still have a little bit more time to decide um, but I don't know I think hopefully during clerkship I'll be able to um, it'll give me insight into what I think is best maybe you know the um, 11 months of, of being you know, in Ontario will be enough for me to, to get enough connections or to get enough experience in, in the Ontario healthcare system. And then a month abroad would be great to kind of round me out as a, a person, but also a clinician that's seen the other side of, of healthcare somewhere else. Mm-hmm.